Either cap are the result of spider-loving druidic circles gaining the attention of fiends. From terrible rituals and grafting of flesh, the Ether cap came to be and swiftly devoured everyone else. Which they do to their children and parents if convenient, they have no mercy. The closest thing they do have to mercy is a fondness for spiders, with whom they have affinity and treat as pets. They aren't the brightest, but watch out. Mutations are common and some have a mad spark of intelligence. Ether cap typically keep to temperate forests, clogging trees with the webs of their spiders. They target fade, devouring fairies and sprites and trying to subdue guardians like dryads. The issue is they don't fight directly, relying on webs and spiders and traps to capture prey. Even when they do have to attack, they try to get the drop on prey with a burst of webbing at the worst time, and flee immediately if they don't have a clear advantage. This can make Fey struggle against them, and are one of the more common reasons a Fey would ask adventurers for aid. That's not the only time you'll encounter them though, they stalk travelers and devour them. Usually they'll stick to lone travelers or people on the outskirts of town. Sometimes even leaving them alive is bait but they may attack an entire party if they've recently laid eggs. Whenever an egg cluster hatches, the children just start devouring anything around them, including the parents, meaning they have to prepare some sacrifices or they get kicked out of their own lair until the kids eat each other. The bright side is that these things avoid combat for a reason. They're frankly pretty mediocre once cornered. Their ability scores, AC, and hit bonus are within a point of the exact average for a CR2 creature, and their HP and damage are two above. They're about as average as you can get. Their traits and web attacks are interesting, but not actually that threatening when the other cap is by itself. That's an even bigger issue because they're generally solitary. You might see a pair of mates preparing for their eggs, maybe three or four if it's a mother that hasn't kicked out the young yet, but they're alone most of their lives. Well, with one exception. As I said earlier, they do have an affinity for spiders. Their lair can have swarms of them, and if they manage to find a monstrous version, they'll train them like a dog. They cultivate them so the forest chokes in webbing, giving the other cap an edge. The most common among those beasts are the giant spider and giant wolf spider. These cover most most of your bases, but if you need more types, there are plenty in the Underdark, like Cedars, which are basically giant jumping spiders. If you need even more, you can whip one up in seconds. Make diving undercaps with silk helmets that hunt for fish and merfolk. Throw on a burrow speed, make a trapdoor spider. Why not throw on a phase spider's jaunt, make bays at their caps that ride them? But for telling you this, I do have to take a moment to apologize. Hello, party of the DM who watched this video. I'd like to give you a formal apology. Telling them about the other cap was bad enough, but putting my homebrew oil slick spiders in the description below might have been a step too far. Having them release slippery oil to trip you into webs was one thing, but having it be flammable on a monster with fire was a little cruel. Also, giving it a burrow speed to make pit traps covered in webs and disguised by the Ether Cap might have been just a little bit excessive. I'm sorry that someone fell in a pit restrained by burning webs and that the Ether Cap snatched people from the ceiling while they stumbled around in the oil slicks below. I ask for your forgiveness and for you to consider that, like, maybe they had it coming? Just saying, if you had fire resist potions, this wouldn't have happened. Sincerely, your local alchemist, Vivi the Witch.